I like cars. I like makeup. I love your personality. I like your shoes. What's your favorite color? What was your first impression of me? What should you define as cheating? Do you have to know all my friends? Which love song best describes our relationship? Is it fine for a partner to use the loo with the door open? How would you want to spend a special day with me? When was the last time I came in your dreams? When was the last time you disliked me? What's the craziest thing you'd be willing to do for me? What's the one thing about me you'd like to change? Let's talk about you and I. Good morning, good afternoon, to course, to course to everybody watching, guys. It's your amazing and handsome host. Oh my, oh my God, I'm blushing. <laughs> now, my name is Manuel Spatsataki, guys, and this is the You and I show, an amazing show that celebrates love and, and friendship. We also get to know people's stories, uh, which will help us be inspired, and their stories will also inspire you, inspire you guys to do better in life. And today, we have an amazing, amazing guest. He's an amazing guy. He's done so much in the music industry in Kenya, and he's a big, he's a big guy. He's a big guy, guys. You, 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 you will find out about him. I'm mean, you'll discover more about him, guys. So we have an amazing lineup on the spill of gas or fill of gas, guys. The African chili is there, you know, always faithful, you know. <laughs> then we'll be having how well do you know me, guys? Uh, we'll be talking to our guests, guests, trying to get to know more about him, and of course. The amazing and last session will be the game session. We will be having an interesting game. You all love it. It's called the spoon feeding. Mm, guys, guess who's going to win? Today is my day. I'm going to win that game, guys. Today I'm going to win and I'm not going to, to accept any, any loss. Today I'm not going to, to, to lose. I'm not a loser, guy. I'm a winner. And you're also all winners. And this, this episode is sponsored by Click Creative, guys. Click Creative, you can find it in Seasons. Get D near your estate, guys. You can go there for your photo sessions. You can book them for your amazing ceremony, birthdays, um, graduation ceremonies, wedding ceremonies. You can call them. They'll come and give you quality, quality top-notch photos and videos, guys. Guys, what do you do? Subscribe, subscribe, keep subscribing. We love you so much, guys. We love you so much, guys. See you after this. Get some popcorns. Get some popcorns because you already know that this thing is going to be good. The UNA show. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time you are watching this amazing, amazing episode, guys. And today we are we are honored and favored and blessed to have the amazing Josh Manio. <laughs> the studio on the show come ah josh man no. uh, welcome <laughs> this is that show that i don't really want to be a part of <laughs> I actually i actually don't want to be here to be honest <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm excited. So excited. It's, uh, the pleasure is all mine. Um, thank you for having me. We, we really appreciate it. Um, I'm ready to try and have a good time. Wow. Based on what I'm watching. Are you ready see, for yeah. any of this? Any weird no. thing? But they're not weird. They're uh, I'm ready for this. I think this is milk. <laughs> yes, that's milk. But you know, I've seen rotten cheese here, so I don't know whether this milk is. Okay. It's good. The milk is, is, good. is okay. It's good. It's good. This is real water. Real water. Oh. Water is good and milk is good and any other thing is also good. <laughs> so this oh. is the okay. spill your gut or feed your gut. Oh. So this is love. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whereby we're going to ask each other a question. I ask mm. a question, then I give you something to eat. You okay. either answer or eat the thing I give you. Okay. And the same goes to you as well. So uh, to introduce there's uh, no third option. Yes, <laughs> there's no third option. <laughs> Only two options. Sour. Okay, I guess I'm going to introduce the menu of the day. We have the amazing African chili. When I say African chili, you know what I mean, guys. Mm. Then we have the hot sauce. The hot sauce is there already. That is bearable. <laughs> then we have the amazing rotten cheese all the way from DRC Congo. They were sent specifically for Josh. Okay. <laughs> right, now, right now, all we are doing is praying for DRC Congo, and not now, eating their rotten cheese. Uh-huh. And we have the amazing raw egg, mm-hmm. and we have the faithful aloe vera, very healthy. Then we have the amazing chicken feet. 
I know you, you do love chicken. You know what they are called uh-huh. uh, in in Kenya? Uh-huh. How, they, how are they called? Or in, I grew up in Kibera, uh-huh. so they, they used to be called bye byes. Bye byes. Because uh-huh. then like the chicken feet is like this, so oh. looks like it's saying. <laughs> <laughs> we have the bye byes. <laughs> That's a new name uh, coming from yeah. from Josh. So like uh, Josh, you're going to start mm. since you are the guest. You're going to start. Okay. You can ask me any question. Then you give me anything here. Sour, sour. Uh, so let me let me start with the fun, fun part of things. Right. I think this should be fun. Okay. Do a freestyle rap about the other player, or have something well, what are you about me. me. Uh-huh. Yeah. What are you giving me? What am I giving you? Mm-hmm. So you can't do a freestyle rap. Like like if I don't do it, what will you give me? Uh, okay. No, you do the freestyle rap first. Oh my God. Or say you can't do it, then I give you something. Hey. Okay, a freestyle rap. About you. I'm not a rapper, guys. It's about to go down. I'm looking for some lyrics. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yo, it's yo. about me. Yeah, it's what, about you. What is, what is yo, yo is not about me. Yo, Josh Manyo <laughs> is, a, is a musician. Yeah, Josh Manyo is a judge on the show. Yeah, Josh Manyo uh, is an amazing artist. Uh, uh, that is not rapping, my Ah, uh, that's not rapping. Uh, oh, yo, Josh Manyo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. That is not rapping. That's not rapping. What uh, is no, kind of... you have to eat something. Okay, that what are you giving? Uh, ah. Oh, oh no, my God! So my my rapping game is down. So uh, we, I, I have to uh, be kind. Be kind. Let me start with what I'm familiar with. Chicken the bye byes. The bye byes. Oh, guys, it's about to go down. Since the judge has refused my rapping skills and games, <laughs> so I have to take the bye byes. <clears throat> oh my God! The bye byes. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my God! You. Yeah, they look weird. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Looks like you enjoy this thing. You don't have a choice. <laughs> okay. Wow! One down. All One right. down. Oh my God! Bring it on. It's about to go down. It's fine. It's about to go. Josh, are you ready? I will survive. <laughs> <laughs> I will survive. This game. Ah, I love I love these questions. They're just amazing. Mm, 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 mm. Now, Josh, uh. make a silly face and keep it until I tell you otherwise. A silly face. Well, no, that is my natural face. Mm-hmm. Don't I look silly? You, you need to make a silly face until oh, you make okay. me laugh. Oh, no, make you laugh until yeah. you. It, it doesn't say that. It says yeah, that, that's make a question. silly face until you make me laugh. So make us. I, I give you. If you don't do that, I give you the aloe vera. I'm not laughing. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that, that was so silly. <laughs> that was so silly. So you've escaped the aloe vera. Oh yeah. my god. Ah, no, you need to eat something. <laughs> oh, come on. You have to eat something. Hey. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Imagine something. I'm, I'm guessing in this room. Okay. Spell it with your nose. Keep spelling it <laughs> with your nose. <laughs> <laughs> until oh uh, I guess what you're trying to spell. Oh my god. Or have rotten cheese. Hey, no way. <laughs> okay, what am I going to spell? Oh my god. Oh, uh-huh. How do I spell water? Okay. No, you've already said water. Okay, that, let, let me spell you something can't... you don't know. Okay. Yes. Oh my god. Um, hey, which, which can be? Hey, <laughs> what is. Okay. That's a cup. Yes, a cup. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've, I've improved my game. I've improved this, the rotten cheese. Ooh, I can breathe. 
Oh my god, I don't think she's oh my god, no no, no way. That was a good no pick. Way. That was a good pick. That was easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah, I, I love this question. Mm, Josh, are you ready for this one? <laughs> Do I have a choice? I don't have a choice. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. I, I, I give you... I give you the rotten cheese for oh, this question. Do your best impression of a fish out of water. Fish out of water? Yes. Best impression? Yes. Sir. Now, the problem is I'll have to go on the floor. Uh-huh. <laughs> but my best impression uh-huh. cannot cannot all right. be. All right. Then I'll sit it down. But uh-huh. how, right. does, how does this work with? Uh-huh. Okay, you have to imagine that this all is right. the floor. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> fish out of water. <laughs> do this again. Do this again. I, I, I like I like this impression. Maybe someone just just missed it. <laughs> do this again so that they, they catch it well. <laughs> That's a fish out of water. Uh-huh. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so amazing. <laughs> that was a nice one. So we, 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 we've both escaped at the rotten cheese. Oh, okay. Fix. Oh god. God is good. <laughs> this is. This will make you look bad, but it's okay. Oh my god. It's your show anyway. Please make me look good. No, it's your show. <laughs> Okay. Uh, belly dance like your life depends on it. Ah, who wrote this question? <laughs> <laughs> or have a raw egg. Eh, I belly dance like my life depends on it. Mm, you know, he, he's a guest on a talent show. So, he, he can refuse my performance. No, I will not refuse it. Just <clears throat> behave as if it, be, it depends on it. Eh, I don't like know. there's a gun on, on your head or something. So now you have to belly dance. I have never done it before. I don't know how to do it. We need to see the energy. I'll, I'll the be embarrassed. <laughs> for your freedom, for your life. I would be so embarrassed. <laughs> I know. It's your show. <laughs> I think he knows. <laughs> I know you'll be embarrassed. Rotten, rotten egg. Rotten egg. No way I can be embarrassed in, in front of all of you guys. Come on. Rotten egg. Let's go. You're not serious. A belly dance, a rotten egg. Rotten egg. Wish me luck. You you do these things uh, on a normal, right? It's, not it's, on a it's normal, as if right? you you have aloe vera at your balcony somewhere <laughs> or at your backyard. I don't I don't you eat, eat any of this. Feet. I don't eat any of this on a normal day. Okay. Oh my god, I have no choice. Let me get some some milk. Yummy. Yeah, <laughs> you can see his face is just he's just he <laughs> <it> just. <laughs> How long his is this expression segment? is just pressed? Are we not done with this thing? No, yes. done. We still have some oh. questions. Very good, very good, very good. Mm. I love this question. I love this question. Mm. Compose a poem mm. on the spot based on what I'm going to come up with. Mm. Uh, Scott Fataki. Or ah, wait, no, you've already chosen. Yeah, uh, or you take the chicken feet. Okay. Now this is this is the best poem you've ever had in your life. Are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. Guys, are you ready for this? Roses are red, violets are blue. Scott is my friend, but Fataki, his name is cool. Yeah, I'm done. You done? Guys! It's poetry. You're not supposed to That's understand it. <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> okay, red, blue, violet. Of course, a friend. But like, all right, not bad. And the rhyme is on point. Yeah, it's okay. yeah. Yeah. You've done well. You've done yeah. well. All right. Thank you very much. Just done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, we already did this. I think this should be easy for you. All right, I hope so. Uh, no, I don't want to go to that. <laughs> okay, this should be easy for you. Mm -hmm. Dance with no music for a minute or have another work. Oh, yeah. guys. This guy is bad. I'm going to dance, guys. I'm going to dance. Mm -hmm. Dancing with no music. For a minute, music. I'm putting on my timer. All right. Should that's be how I can dance. I love dancing. I used to be a dancer. So dancing should be easy. Okay. Yeah. Dancing should be and easy. And... Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <clears throat> um, go. Sit down. Hey! <laughs> no way I'm taking another we'll, we'll, egg. <laughs> we'll I'm done. <laughs> we'll excuse that as dancing. That, we'll just excuse it. It's fine. Guys, I told you he's a judge. You look so... like something is wrong with your shoulder. Oh my God. <laughs> you, you know, it's, it's a shoulder move. Okay. I, 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 I'll teach you this. It's type. fine. All right. Now, I have the best questions left. Mm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now we have one left actually. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I love this. <laughs> it's about to go down, guys. Are you ready? This is the most amazing question so far. Mm. <clears throat> All right. Josh, you give me your phone. Mm -hmm. I go through your contact list and call someone of my choice. Mm. You call them and tell them you have a crush on them. Or you take the amazing <laughs> African chili. <laughs> Contact, take. <laughs> this African, this I milk. Eat. No, you take. Oh, all right. This African, I, this milk you can take to ease the. Take. All right. Let's go. Where's your contact list? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Are you sure? You call someone. <laughs> Ah, they will deal with it later. <laughs> but I'm not taking no chili. <laughs> ah, let's see, let's see, let's let's look for uh, an interesting name, an interesting name, an interesting name here. Ah, I'm looking for an interesting name. Let me look for an interesting name. Beautiful name. Beautiful. Name. My phone is boring, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for an interesting name here. Mm. Yeah, I think you can call Charity. Call her! Let's call Charity. We are going to make Charity's day, guys. Have insufficient... <laughs> 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 I, I win! <laughs> no, we are going to make... To, to, to get you credit, some credit. Yeah, for real. We are, we are, we are buying credit. And he's going to call. You know, I just made my last phone call <laughs> a few minutes ago. I knew uh, I'm skipping this one. Okay. We are, we are making credit because we need to call someone. We really need to call someone. No, let me just buy. All right. We have to call Charity. Charity, be ready to see. Today is your day. You've been dreaming about this maybe. Who knows? <laughs> and God has answered your prayers in another way. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Shock on you, Charity. Shock on you. <laughs> Dream on. <laughs> then when she watches this, will be, oh my God, it was a you know, I don't even know which Charity we are calling. But now since we've said it so many times, mm. should we still call the same person? Okay. Oh, okay. We can call someone else. It's okay. Maybe Charity's life is not today. Maybe someone else will call Charity. But just she's going to make someone's day. Mm. <laughs> You know, it's, it's still morning, so the person who is going to receive such a news in the morning, oh my God, just imagine the rest of their day. This will just be amazing. But I'm waiting to hear their response. That would be so cool. That would be amazing. How? Where is that coming from? You're not my type. Hey, oh my God. Hey, hey, that's I think I'll enjoy this. That would be so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh-huh. 
Ah, uh, let me. Ah, you have Daisy. <clears throat> they call these days. I don't know which Daisy that is. That's amazing. Hi. I just bought credit. Eh, okay. Daisy, it's a day. <laughs> Daisy, make sure you prepare lunch <laughs> and a glass for two. You know, make some roses and some candles to make it interesting. You've already spoiled it for Daisy. <laughs> oh. It's about to go down. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hi, Daisy. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> I think I have a crush on you. <laughs> I, I think I just have a crush on you. Hello? Hello. Who's this? Have a nice morning. Bye. Guy, who's this? Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that, that was... <laughs> so you told me it, to call it, it someone. Doesn't know the person he called, and the person who received the call doesn't know the person who called her. Yeah. That was lucky. That was so nice. Oh my god. Uh -huh. That was a miss. <laughs> that was a miss. It's okay. Ask your question. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to deal with them later. <laughs> All right. Mm hmm. I still have the most beautiful person here with me, the last one. All right, this is, I don't like this question, but it's okay. Tell me the saddest story mm. you have or know. No, the saddest story you know mm. or have. Tell me the saddest story you know or have that chili. Mm -hmm. And this looks I, easy I, for you. I can tell you the story. <laughs> Chili, you lie. <laughs> I don't want to have a hot mouth right now. Mm, the sad, sad story I know. Mm. Uh, the sad story. Uh, I, my father was in an was in uh, in an hospital for like a week, and we only spoke once. Then it was like today Sunday, and tomorrow I was going to call him. Then on that Sunday after service, they called me and told mm. me that he, he had passed away. No. Yeah. So, right, that's the saddest story I know. You're thinking like you're going to talk again, but mm. that was it. Why? Anyway, guys, moving on. How do you swiftly. move on from that? <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. it was. You know, it's life, you know. It's, it I'm happened sorry for that. some thank you. Mm. It happened some years ago. So mm. yeah. But God it's still good, you know. Yeah. And we still have an amazing question here. Yeah? Mm. The last like question to look at you, he he raised a good man. Ah yeah. yeah thank God doing incredible that. things, you know? Yeah, thank you. Man. All right, let's go to that last question. Are you question. ready for this? No. <clears throat> now this is the most most amazing, 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 amazing thing. Mm. Uh, do you have any celebrity on your phone book? I think so, yeah. Any lady? Yeah. Can you give us a, a name of two? Uh, a good friend of mine, Kush Tracy. Um, who else do I have? Uh, there's Vivian, the musician. No, right. Yeah. Uh, between the two... Um, Choose one mm. that you are going to call mm. and tell them that you are gay. Or huh? you take uh. the African chili. <laughs> tell someone I'm gay. <laughs> How? Oh <my> God. <laughs> There's no way Let's I'm go. telling someone I'm gay. Oh my God, it's about to go down. <laughs> They're your friends. They'll understand afterwards. Why? <laughs> you, know, you know, there are some things you, you even... Even being used as an example <laughs> is just off, you know. African chili, let's go. I have to eat the whole of it. A good, just a good portion, not all of it. We don't want you to, to faint <laughs> and not be able to yeah, just continue try. with the show. African chili. 
Ah. This thing is hot. Yeah, you need to chew. <coughs> Yo. That's why it's called African chili. Africa. From where? From around here. Still. It's, it's from, from Kenya. Still. This is this is illegal. <laughs> Oh my god, prepare some milk for the guest and prepare some water for the guest. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. <laughs> this is not working. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. It's amazing. This is like me eating it, right? Yeah. I'm eating it. <laughs> I told you. That's why we call it the amazing <laughs> African <laughs> cheese. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Are you feeling? Are you feeling hotter? <laughs> I tell you, it's just amazing. That's why we call we call it the amazing African you chili. Need, you need to tell me where I can find these things because mm. there's something I need to do to my friends. Yeah, we'll tell you. All my friends, be ready. <laughs> I'm doing this exact same thing to you. <laughs> Smasher, Pastamos, Zach, Innocent. <laughs> the same thing. They'll also get the opportunity to do that with you. Uh, guys, so that was Spill Your Guts or Feel Your Guts. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> we are going to get into the next session of How Well Do You Know Me with the amazing Josh Manio. But are you, are you okay? I'll survive. You'll survive, I'll guys. Survive. So don't go anywhere. See you after this. Alright guys, welcome back, welcome back again to the You and I show. Uh, we are still here with the amazing Josh Manio. Uh, now this is the How Well Do You Know Me, Josh? Yeah, finally we are off that other table. <laughs> finally. Finally. But at least now you can I just take one time. I don't want to go back there. There's no African chili. Never. There's no rotten cheese. How are you feeling now? <laughs> you know, the, the African chili is still working on him, uh, you know? <laughs> I survived. I survived. But uh, the how, how well do you know me? We just like um, ask questions that will help us know more about you. Okay. Yes, we know you as a public figure, yes, but there are some things you've gone through that people don't really know. Okay. They just appreciate the Josh they see on TV, okay. but they don't appreciate the struggle behind the Josh who is on TV. Mm -hmm. So this is love. Mm -hmm. So, like, Josh, tell us, like, when, when did you start your music career? Music career. Um, as a career, career it started in, um, I think in 2013, 2013, where I decided, actually, uh, out of life pressures. It was not like out of, like, I want to pursue music mm -hmm. as a career. Uh -huh. um, singing started way, well, well, I was very young. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom is, a, is an amazing singer. So I started singing with my mom mm -hmm. when I was very little. Wow. And while other people get bored when the lights would go off mm -hmm. in the house, mm -hmm. us when we when when the lights would go off because mm -hmm. we used to stay in Kibera, when the lights would go off, would start singing. Wow. So my mom would teach us songs and other stuff. Um, but I never thought of it as a career, to be honest. I never thought of it as a career. Um, I remember even when when I started uh, like pursuing music, my my schoolmates back in primary school uh -huh. would call me and like, you guys can sing, you can sing. Because mm. I never sang anywhere wow. near school. Wow. Anywhere. So I started singing uh, seriously in high school because it was a cool thing to do. Um, I was actually picked at the back of, we had a very big tank mm -hmm. in Upper Hill School, a water tank. Wow. So we would just practice there, sing, uh, sing a little bit with, with some friends of mine. Then somebody... Uh, who's now a very renowned musician in mm -hmm. Kenya, had me singing and they literally dragged me into the music club, into an a cappella group mm -hmm. and other stuff, something. I, I didn't think singing was cool because I, I thought acting was cooler. Wow. So, um, so out of now later on life pressures, you know, you like, you're like life is not moving, I need to do something with mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. I was like, Ay, let me... Let me enter into this and that audition. Let me part, be part of this and that um, competition. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know that God had, had other plans yeah, with that. Yeah. Because every effort I had made mm -hmm. to try and act mm -hmm. failed. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Every effort. Like I would take demos, that person just disappears with those, <laughs> with those demos and they never give you a call back. Um, so music is what actually worked. Mm-hmm. I didn't, to be honest, I never really wanted it. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never been a fan of, of, of that celebrity lifestyle and mm-hmm. our stuff. I, I, I don't know how to behave well in it, uh-huh. <laughs> to be honest. And if you look at me, I don't know how to wear blings and all stuff. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not my thing, really. Wow. But uh, yes, wow. 2013, when I went for Tusker Project Fame. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then Tusker Project Fame came, the mm-hmm. fame came, celebrity, yes. everyone, Josh, yes. Amos and Josh. I was, yes. but I was a big fan. I was like, I was, I was cheering for you guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> because I, I remember that time, the competition, the competition was really tough. Yeah, it was good. You had an amazing, an amazing group of mm, artists, very, young, talented very, very, very from amazing. Uganda. Yes. Mm-hmm. From there was, there was also this guy from Burundi. Burundi yes. yes, hope from Burundi. Yes, good friend of mine still. Wow. Yes. Like how how was how was uh, the ambience and mm. the competition from from your side? Competition was a foreign thing for me, very foreign thing because I've been raised and bred in church. So there was nothing like competition, really. Mm-hmm. You know, in a church setting, when you're leading worship and all stuff, there was, there's nothing like competition, mm-hmm. where you're judged primarily based on your talent uh-huh. or how well you do an assignment. Mm-hmm. So it was never really there. So it was a very foreign thing for me, but thank God for my bishop, mm-hmm. uh, Welio Dendo, who trained, trained us for literally more than three months mm-hmm. to prepare us for a competitive environment. Wow. Like he would work on us on a daily basis mm-hmm. uh, in our church sanctuary, Life Pool Chapel. So uh, he started, uh, he brought in someone to help us work out. Wow. Because now, you, you know how church boys are. <laughs> when will you work out? <laughs> when work out was never part of your <laughs> thought. Yeah, it's never yeah? there. Because, you know, all you do is maybe maybe you're leading worship somewhere yeah. or stuff like that. You never think that you need to work out. So. Uh-huh. Uh, the Kulukona workouts, um, uh, vocal training, mm-hmm. uh, training us mentally. What happens when the fame comes? What mm-hmm. happens when the money comes? Mm-hmm. What happens if you don't win the money? Because uh-huh. usually people are usually prepared with an expectation to win, to win. but yeah. people are never prepared yeah. with an expectation. Lose, no, yeah. to, you know, yeah. no winning. So he prepared us on all fronts, mm-hmm. and, th- and I think that is what has actually helped us to survive this long, mm-hmm. that even if we didn't win, we were number two actually, and yeah. it, was, it was a painful thing to hear, you're that number, yeah. that, that five yeah, million almost, was, was were, right almost there, mighty. you know, I would have been a millionaire with like, yes. with like you know, after taxes, after me, after taxes, still a millionaire, after, after taxes, this is Kenya, taxes are heavy, yeah. after taxes, and I think I would have had like a meter or something, then I, then stupid me would have gone and bought a car, and then uh-huh. I broke again. <laughs> so, <laughs> then I'm broke again. But, um, but it's something that I, I, I have no regrets over whatsoever. I would, I would actually relieve it again, mm-hmm. because the lessons that I learned behind the camera mm-hmm. were more important. Mm-hmm. The people I met mm-hmm. behind the camera mm-hmm. were exceptional people. Yeah. You know, the likes of Eric Wanaina, Mm-hmm. Uh, Kavuta, mm-hmm. uh, Alan, uh, Aaron Rimbui, okay. um, some of the, uh, the Nerea song came after us meeting South Chisol. Wow. Um, okay, I had met them in school, but us having discussion, mm-hmm. you know, when during Tasca Project yeah. Fame, yeah. they're like, ah, you guys, we need to do something together. They helped us in some writing and all that stuff. So, um, the be, the behind the scenes parts uh, parts of the of the show yeah. are what I are what I cherish to wow. date. Of course, um, the stage moments, learning how to face a camera, learning how to communicate to an audience. Mm-hmm. Um, um, uh, our routines were very weird. As the most Josh, we would go on stage before a performance mm-hmm. and and pray, mm-hmm. but people would not know we are praying because mm-hmm. you know it's a secular platform. Uh-huh. So uh, it's not like. You can, okay, we would outrightly pray, yes, yeah. but sometimes we just walk around and people think that we are like filling the ground or something like that. Mm-hmm. Kumbe, we are praying. Mm-hmm. We are there commanding things and demanding things, you know, <laughs> <laughs> allowing the spirit to fill the atmosphere. And, yeah. some, and, and mostly we, 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 we know that sometimes it, we were not the best mm-hmm. of singers, to be honest. We were not the best. Uh, guys from Uganda were incredible, like big up Kojo. Because uh, I know he will watch this. Um, 
there were two guys called undercover brothers who are dope i used to love their voices and with that lady uh, daisy 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 she, was, she had an amazing ah, voice my goodness <laughs> guys from Rwanda were spectacular my Kenyan friends were just amazing mm-hmm. so i don't think really it was because of how amazing our voices were really mm-hmm. but those just we, we just had favor mm-hmm. and 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 god just allowed us to flourish in that in that space and in that environment so we are always reminded that it was not because we were any special uh-huh. but god just chose that that was our moment for us to to make something out of ourselves. Wow. So we are really grateful for that. Yeah. Like now according to you, who will you say like was your toughest competitor? Everyone. But actually let me give you a scenario. Uh-huh. We were at Safari Park um for the top 25. Mm-hmm. Like the top 25 contestants before we got into the house because uh-huh. there were different levels of audition. Oh, okay. There was that mass audition where yeah. it was everybody one, everyone yeah, so, yeah. where I was told like I look like an accountant because <laughs> I don't I, Was that Ian Mugwa? Yeah. No, it oh. wasn't Ian Mugwa. It was a good friend of mine right now. Yeah. She's called Natalie, Natalie. The owner of um, she has a music academy called Saudi Academy. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. That. So I didn't look like any like a star or someone who wants to do music as a yeah, career. Yeah. I just had on a sweater, an official shirt, uh-huh. uh you know, official yeah. trouser. Uh-huh. Like I just looked like I just came from uh, 17th floor of KICC yeah. and I had apparently there's an audition down here yeah. and I just wanted to be a part of it. So there was that mass audition. Mm-hmm. Then there was another audition where we were like 25 guys mm-hmm. at Safari Park. I don't think that was aired. No, it wasn't. That aired. was very private. Yeah. Then now you they narrowed it down now to a group of how many were we in the house? Like a few number of us now uh, to now board in the house where now the competition now officially starts. Now when we got to the top train uh top 25 what I got into Safari Park guys were when I think we were walking to our rooms guys were singing you know rehearsing Rwandese singing in their traditional things I was like the pressure I, was just I know high now. I was like I know I don't want to be here uh-huh. I am nowhere close mm-hmm. to uh, the level of talent that these guys have guys were singing and dancing in there <laughs> it's like this is the pla- best place to be at the same time I'm, I'm intimidated but at the same time I'm like actually that's when i gained weight yeah. i was very thin i was actually a very thin dark boy thin and black <laughs> then when i when, when i got into this space where i'm just doing what i love mm-hmm. and relating with people who you know we are of the same mind space uh-huh. uh, a creative space nearly none at all just just blew up Wow. you know just because of that peace no pressure i'm not thinking wow. about uh who might or might not be president okay. i'm not thinking about uh okay what what, are, what is giving people pressure <laughs> today you know, I'm, i'm not having any pressure yeah. i'm just relaxed You're just living in the moment yeah. so i i i think everyone had a had an incredible chance to to win to win, to win that competition yeah Wow, you are you are all amazing. We watched the final was was a selection of amazing yeah, artists. Was there, was there was you, there was Daisy. Daisy, Daisy yeah. It was just a, an amazing competition and mm-hmm. and we thank God for the outcome and yeah. here you are you're still yeah, doing yeah. music and you're <laughs> still doing uh, their thing on their own end of the world. Mm-hmm. That was really amazing. And we had some something like do, was there uh, any relationship going on in the house? <laughs> <laughs> I know that's the juiciest part of Kenyans and relationships. So, then he, it's like I, I was watching something yesterday uh-huh. like a, a YouTube show by Butita. Mm-hmm. And they were showing how in Kenya for you to just make it, uh-huh. you just come up with a YouTube channel and start a weird relationship uh-huh. of some sort and and apparently you'll get famous and you'll make a lot of money. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about it. but um uh yeah cuz remember you you're staying in the house with with people for like was it for like over three months mm-hmm. you're there with them on a daily basis yeah, a daily no basis. phones no phones yeah, yeah so you don't you don't have contact with the outside world uh-huh. Uh we don't have TV so we don't okay we had TV but not to watch news and all that stuff it was mostly to review the songs that we were supposed to perform mm-hmm. the only thing we had was a clock we didn't even have a calendar wow so you even losing track of days 
So the only thing you're interacting with, with is music and, and your fellow around. contestants. Mm -hmm. So of course, chemistry would have been built. Mm -hmm. That's why even eliminating people was so hard on us. Yeah. Like if you, uh, if you watch the show and you saw people like getting sad when someone was yeah. leaving or yeah. people even crying yeah. and all stuff, it's because this is the only family yeah. you've right. known mm -hmm. for this period of yeah. time. So of course, um, relationships were built, relationships were broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, 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 Heartbreaks. Now, no, how do you handle that situation? This, this is your girlfriend for two weeks, then you break up. You just then remember. You have, you re maybe you have to perform together. Actually, you remember that this is a competition, and that person <laughs> that you think you love wants to put you down uh -huh. for that money, uh -huh. for that end goal. Mm -hmm. So even them, they are your rival. Mm -hmm. You know, you just have to remember yeah. that I didn't, uh, unfortunately, I didn't come here for you. Mm -hmm. uh, like, for Amos and Josh, we only had two goals. Yeah. It's either we win the ultimate prize, or we win, it's either we win five million shillings, mm -hmm. or we win five million hearts. Wow. So the level of focus mm -hmm. it required. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, a musician is a very interesting person. You can, you can build a world mm -hmm. for yourself. Uh -huh. A, 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 a world that might not even be existing. Yeah. Like for example, I remember there's this performance that I had to do with a lady called Nyambura. Yeah, Good I remember. Her. It was a very amazing, amazing, amazing singer. She's now, I think she's in the States or something. She's abroad doing her thing. Now, we had to create chemistry for us to deliver that song. Mm. It, it, it's not a song that you could have just like sung mm -hmm. and, and people feel it. Mm -hmm. You had to Deliver, like create chemistry. Uh -huh. So we bonded, spent time together, went through the lyrics, understood the song. Uh -huh. uh, like sometimes we even sing to each other uh -huh. until you gain the chemistry of uh -huh. that song. By the time we sang it on stage, it was not the perfect performance uh -huh. of the night. Uh -huh. But our our teacher then uh, in the house, Kavuta, was like, "You guys you need to learn from these two people uh -huh. the level of chemistry." And I remember that day. In the crowd, uh -huh. my girlfriend then was there. Uh -huh. In the crowd. Uh -huh. But because I'm focused on delivering a performance, uh -huh. I'm not even seeing you. Uh -huh. It's not about you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you, if you catch, uh -huh. it's up to you. But I'm here uh -huh. to perform, you know, to yeah, deliver to a performance. Deliver. Yeah. And you know, we could sing to each other and when we were passing each other, you could see the lady blushing uh -huh. and the blushing was real. Like, hey! So now I'm thinking, now I'm even picturing her, now my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend then, Akiangali, Yuju, Akiangali, Akishindua. And if this person came here to win five million and she, and he's flirting, flirting here uh -huh. on stage. But yeah, we had to deliver performance. Wow, that, that was really amazing. Then, like, now the journey of you and Amos. Yes. Like, when did it start? Like, how did you guys meet? We met in church. Um, we met in church and through many musical projects uh, uh, from uh, run by church friends and all uh -huh. stuff. So we used to be in a, in a in a. Amos was that guy. He was part of a of a singing group called Kelele, big singing group, mm -hmm. full of beautiful ladies and Amos. It mm -hmm. was just. <laughs> Pit, a lot of beautiful ladies and Amos. <laughs> pastor Amos, sorry. He's my worship pastor in church. So, now I used to watch these guys. I'm like, yo, I never used to notice the ladies for some weird reason. Mm -hmm. like, this guy can sing. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. This guy can sing. So I never thought, even for a moment, that mm -hmm. I will ever mm -hmm. sing with this guy on the same stage. Wow. Then later on, oh, uh, there's a, an amazing songwriter called Patrick Nakaya has a recording project or a concert, uh, you're called. Mm -hmm. You're not told who you're going to sing with. Mm -hmm. Then you enter the studio and you're like, hey, mm. that dude yeah. that, that I always watch <laughs> is also part of this yeah. project. So you're like, yo, <laughs> I'm singing with this dude. Imagine. <laughs> you know? So you're there, you do that project. Uh -huh. Then later on, uh, you disappear from each uh -huh. other. Then you're called for another project. You're there singing. Then... Um, I happened to join Lifepool Chapel mm -hmm. um, when it was, I think it was, I think it was a year in or something. Then I find Amos is the worship pastor there. Mm. Um, so I was so amazed. Now the culture there, 
just amazed me. I I, I got a, a level of boldness that I never had. Mm-hmm. It's it is actually while I was in life Puchape that I thought just because of the courage, now learning to believe in yourself, in in the gifting that God has given you, um, and in the possibilities that God has for you. Uh-huh. I was like, I can try going for a, a music competition. Mm-hmm. And I, I remember at that time, uh, Bishop Margaret Wanjiru's uh, church was doing a music competition, and the grand prize was like a million bob. And I was like, no, this is still too small for me. <laughs> and you know... <laughs> I was a very t- timid guy, mm-hmm. very timid. Before mm-hmm. Life Pool Chapel, before meeting Bishop Welly, I was very timid, mm. very fearful. Oh. So I could have never come up with a statement like, that is too small for me. Mm-hmm. But I, used to, I, I saw that and I was like, too small. Then TPF happened, Tasca oh. Project Fame. And I was like, I want to go. So I, got, I went and told my bishop I want to go for Tasca Project Fame. Yeah. Kumbe Amos has also gone and told Bishop that he wants to go for Tasca Project Fame. Mm. So our Bishop was like, because we, we had started singing, singing together in church. Yeah. Bishop was like, you guys usually sound together. You, you sound very good together. Mm-hmm. And this time around, they're allowing groups. So yeah. you go together. Because yeah. the Bible says one can chase a thousand. Uh-huh. And two. But two can chase Ten tens of thousands. Yeah. So you are stronger when you're together. Yeah. So that's actually Amos and Josh was the idea of our bishop. Wow. He put us together. Wow. You know, he put, we, ne- we didn't think of it. It's not our genius. <laughs> so he put us together. The thing that we tried is we tried thinking of names for the group. And they were <laughs> bad names. I can never say them out loud. Very bad names. <laughs> then our bishop was like, see, there's Casey and Jojo. Mm. And those are their real names. Yeah. So just be Amos and Josh. Yeah. Well, what are you trying to come up with that is... You know, out of this world okay. and surprise people. So he put us together, gave us a name, trained us. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we 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 honor our bishop so much because we know uh, even this name that we we are held in so in such high esteem for, it's because we met a man of God who believed in us, who saw what we didn't even see in ourselves. So oh. yeah. That's just, that, that's just amazing. Because I remember when I saw on TV, you came, then mm. Ian Bugu, I think it was Ian, mm. asked you, how did you guys meet? They said, mm. no, we've been doing music together. Mm. It was a, a nice story, mm. a love story. Mm. But now, you do a song, Nerea. Yes. With a big Saudi soul. Mm. Uh-huh. Like, how, how was it? How did this happen? How was the experience working with such an amazing group as well? It was... Now... <laughs> You know, when, 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 I think when God puts you on a journey mm-hmm. and, and you decide to, to honor it and stick with it, he will, he will just throw you in spaces that maybe are unimaginable. Mm-hmm. Um, Saudi Soul was, was getting big then. I, I don't know. They were getting big. They were getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. And so I don't know what exactly uh, to date, I, I just believe it's God. I don't know what exactly drew them to just to two young guys who were just starting. Because mm-hmm. we had no song of our own. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first time we met, we had no song of our own. We were just in TPF, uh, singing mm-hmm. covers and all yeah. stuff. So it, it, it didn't look natural for them to pick guys who are just, you know, yeah. they're not tried, they're not tested. There's nothing that you can prove about yeah. them. Yeah. that at, no portfolio at, like... Yeah, that these guys will yeah. work, mm-hmm. you know? So we were we entered into conversation while we were in the house and were like, once you guys come out, look for us. Mm-hmm. So I, I fortunately I had the uh, the the oh no we exchanged contacts and we had some rapport because mm-hmm. uh, when I was in form one, I, uh, BN Savara and Chimano were in form three. Mm-hmm. So we had that in, uh, that interaction mm-hmm. and BN is actually the one who picked me from behind a tank somewhere wow. singing or I don't know if it was behind the library somewhere. Mm. And he told me, hey, you have to join the music club, you have to join a cappella group and our stuff. Because we had a we had an a cappella group called Voice in the Light. Yeah. So you you were you also the, the voice you were singing, you had the role to also find someone oh, to okay. replace you. So wow. the music would uh, the, the group would just live on. Yeah. The group would live on. So we had a bit of rapport, but that was besides the point. So they saw us interrupted uh, they were like you guys look for us mm. once you're done with this thing and we looked for them 
uh, we wrote a lot of music together. It was ju not just Nerea. They helped us actually write yeah. our very first song called Smile. Yeah. An amazing love song. That song that I first had, I had myself on radio for the first time. Nika, nika panda fancy a church. <laughs> just to hear if it's true, like we are being played on yeah. radio. Uh, the song didn't have a video. So we did uh, Smile. Then we did, uh, I don't know if we did but. Mm. Yeah, we did Badai. No, we did Smile, we did Zingua, then we did Badai. Mm -hmm. So after Badai, that's when we had already recorded Nerea a while back. Okay. So after Badai is when, now after we have, we had proven ourselves, uh -huh. now we have like a mega song, then so is all like, hey, yo, you guys, we yeah. had recorded yeah. a song a while back, because... Yeah. <laughs> no, we had <laughs> we had written the song together, but yeah. us guys had recorded it by ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's like they were just giving us a, a song uh, for us oh. to do. So they gave us that idea. Mm -hmm. So they remember that song that we mm -hmm. wrote together. And Biero was like, hey, you guys, we have to do now do that song together. Okay. So since um, the name had proven itself, uh, the brand was out there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they thought it right. It was an appropriate time for us to collaborate. And it worked. You know, it, it worked. Was it was, it was a song. huge conversation. Yeah. We saw another level of working that we had never seen before. That is that is when they had started working with, um, with their then manager Marek, um, who's who's now a big shot in the in the music industry right now. So we 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 interacted with what what it means to have like a you know an international manager and all stuff. He was so strict. Wow. Uh, we went for the video shoot. We found clothes there. Wow. We didn't go as in we went as as we were. <laughs> then we were told, uh, you come this way, you will dress like this. Then you're given those clothes, even shoes, wow. like new shoes. Mm -hmm. The first time you're stepping on them is on that podium that you are seated on, <laughs> singing in the rear and all stuff, looking all cool. So everything we found there, uh -huh. you know, a stylist, uh, Eno Solik, who was my former classmate as well, by the yeah. way, it, it is very weird. <laughs> and, and also Lee was shooting the video, high-end camera, you mm. know, hired location, mm. there's transport for you guys. Mm. Hey! Mm. And us guys are used to, you know, that uh, music of hustling. Mm. You're just there hustling, hustling. <laughs> uh, you, <laughs> yeah, you know, you're borrowing clothes and other stuff to look flashy on a video. Mm -hmm. But it, it taught us what, what, what music uh, business can be about. Mm -hmm. And the disciplines it requires, because they are very, very, their work ethic as a group is amazing. With Nerea, to you, it is amazing. Saudi Soul, mm. the fame came, mm. and Amos and Josh as well. Your, your brand also grew mm -hmm. to another level. Mm -hmm. And of course, ladies calling, texting, DMing, <laughs> and you under such <laughs> such pressure. It was new. It was new. I was foolish. I didn't. Uh, I was foolish. It's true. Mm -hmm. uh, to some extent, that thrill of of attention got the best of me. Mm -hmm. um, it actually did. It did. It did get uh, the best of me. But now we got. We we now started moving away from our virtues or parting, parting kidogo, ni 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 ni. It got the best of me, mm -hmm. uh, especially. Got got the best of me, especially. So. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes. We made a lot of mis a lot mm -hmm. of mistake. I remember we used to stay in our estate then, and now our work officially became to host parties. Wow. We would host parties. Where? Kelele, <laughs> Kelele. There's a time there was a petition to kick us out wow. of the court we were living in. Um, us and a neighbor of ours <laughs> were the two notorious houses, you know, for hosting parties. So we made we made a lot of stupid mistakes. We wasted a lot of money, mm -hmm. a lot of money, uh, because the name made a lot of money, mm -hmm. a lot of money. So, uh, but but God, God ni nani? Uh, he still he still redeems. He still restores. Yeah. So, yeah. Then the song. so I will I will not tell you that we handled it nicely. Sin nicely. Uh, right, we, right. we had it together. No. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so we are here to be real. Um, yeah, you have to be real. You yeah, have to be real. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Josh, with King Kaka, mm. Badai, Patan Badai are big hits in Kenya and in East Africa as well. And people from America also go to to listen or watch the video mm. and music. People from Congo, mm. where they go to listen to the wow. song. That that was a big hit. 
Then mm. and the fame kept on growing, growing, growing. Mm. Amos and Josh, I was Kiki. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, it looked that way. It usually <laughs> looks that way, but uh, looks can be deceiving. But this mm. was this was a project that that came about and taught us a big lesson of of learning how to collaborate with people, mm-hmm. learning how to work with people, learning allowing yourself to be or consistently being teachable mm-hmm. as an important part of your craft. Because um, Badai came about because of our producer, Sedo. And uh, Sedo just came up with this, uh, okay, referenced a song. And he yeah. told us, I want you guys to write a song that sounds like mm-hmm. this song mm-hmm. or has this kind of feel. And so we, he gave us a track. We went and thought about it. And for us, the, the 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 emotion of the instrumental just took us to to stories of people who we have lost mm-hmm. and and so it it reminded us of the many questions yeah. that we had while we didn't understand why we have lost uh-huh. the people we've lost or why they decided to um or 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 why they left us yeah. not even they decided like one one of the one of the sad stories is is one of them uh, engage their girlfriend at our show while before we had even released any music, mm-hmm. um, our very first show, right after TPF, uh, which was um, a huge success. That wow. it's a story I love to date. It's it's marked why we we decided to do music. So this guy engaged the girlfriend. It was dope. I mean, he was he's a he's a good friend of Pastor Amos and. Um, then later on, Pastor Amos is, is, and he had a promising career, uh-huh. he had done medicine, he was becoming a doctor. Then Pastor Amos was called and he was told, uh, your friend committed suicide. Wow. So it was, it was shocking, like, like why? Uh-huh. You had a promise, you had a good job, yeah. uh, beautiful wife, uh-huh. everything seemed like it was working yeah. for you. So out of Pastor Emerson's questions and my questions, that's why Badai is full of questions. Nihau, Litwata Bila, Ungetuambia, Nini, you know, just full of questions. Then also out of our faith, we are also reminded that um, we, we are believers of, 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 of eternal life. So um, we will see them again. Um, you know, if, if, if this person, okay, if you've lost a loved one and, uh, and, 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 and they had the beautiful privilege of receiving yeah. Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, you know that you will definitely mm-hmm. get to see them again. We just use our own personal stories as the basis of the of the song, but the, the main aim that we had for the music is just to give people hope, mm-hmm. you know, to give people hope yet that, yes, you might not have this question, answers to these questions because yeah. grief is a, is a tough thing. Yeah. You know, it's a very, very tough thing. So you might not have answers for these questions, but as the Bible tells us that we don't mourn as if those ones, as, as uh, those who yes. don't have hope, yes. you know, um, we still have, Christ is our hope in glory, you uh-huh. know. Amen. So uh, that is what we wanted to convey out there. And uh, we didn't think it would work, to be honest. We didn't think it would work. I remember that time our church had just installed Wi-Fi uh-huh. and we had released two, song, two songs. One didn't have a video. Uh-huh. Uh, but it was playing on radio, uh-huh. which was really cool. Uh-huh. The second one was a struggle getting the video. <laughs> you know, it was a real struggle. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just coming up with that video, where it uh-huh. was pressure, Zingua, but it did well as well. Now for this one, our church has just, had just installed Wi-Fi. And then, back then, Twitter didn't have something like spamming. Uh-huh. So you could tag people however you want. <laughs> so we would spend time on the church Wi-Fi, <laughs> just tagging people, people. <laughs> <laughs> trying to push the song. Yes. Then we had a PR lady, Big Up Michelle. She's in the States right now. Mm. Um, she's an amazing rapper, and she's a little part of this gospel group called Chit Chat. I love food. There's a time she also did a, a female version of Bamboo song back then called Ile Usilete Kompe. Now she did a female version wow. of it. And she's amazing. We, we love that girl. So she was there telling us, let's just push you. You, you don't know. You don't know what will happen. Yeah. So we were telling ourselves, if we reach 20,000 views, yeah. ah, we are throwing a bash. Yeah. No, it wasn't even 20,000. 5,000 views. Wow. We are throwing a bash. Because <laughs> we were like, how do you even hit 5,000 views? YouTube then was was yeah, tough. It, was, it, was, it really wasn't tough. like it wasn't like okay now it's it's also tough but I think then it was tougher. Yeah, it was tougher. So 
We're like, hey, then we hit 5,000 views. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 we hit 20,000 views. Right. Oh, then uh, I remember Fidel Odinga, I think it was Fidel Odinga, passed on mm-hmm. then. Uh, Classic decided to pick the song, throw it out there wow. in memory of uh, Fidel Odinga mm-hmm. and other lost heroes. It's actually my Nakagemi yeah. who just decided to make that song big out of nowhere. Wow. We had never met him, never went for an interview wow. with him. To date, I have never met my Nakageni. Mm-hmm. To date, Miss Jawai Patana Nae. So he just took it, it went viral, went global. It was being used for now someone has passed away, that is a song that is being used and um, and we're just glad that we we are part of people's lives. Uh, to date, yeah. in 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 one of the hardest moments, because uh-huh. the Bible says that the house of mourning is a house of wisdom. One, then blessed are those who mourn. Uh-huh. You know, we you're blessed when you mourn with others. Uh-huh. You know, and and we we see it as as a blessing in our lives that we can be part of uh, people's hardest times yeah. and and bring some level of comfort. You know, uh-huh. yeah. Now from from Christ, from gospel to secular, mm. back to gospel, that transition. First of all, we've never been gospel artists, never ever, because gospel is not a genre. Mm-hmm. I find it very demeaning when we say gospel is a genre. Mm-hmm. Gospel is your life. St- it's your when you when you which prophet is this that says I'm the pen of a ready writer. You know, the Gospels were uh, experiences of people, Mm -hmm. experiences that people had with Christ, Uh them writing them down. It is too powerful for it to be demeaned. You can't say Gospel and say Gengeton. Mm -hmm. How? You can't put them on the same Uh scale. I think it's, that's why we've never wanted to even be categorized as, oh, you're Gospel artists, you're Nini Nini. Mm -hmm. We, We don't, we see it as a very, it's a demeaning way of using that word gospel. Mm-hmm. But we, 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 were, we were priding ourselves of just being musicians that will, would write uh, music that just transcends, cuts across religion. Mm-hmm. Um, our basis was love. Mm-hmm. Love for God, love for people, love for environment. We just wanted to be people who express love, mm-hmm. you know? And yes, the, the place where you're correct is we deviated from it. Yeah. When now we had the voice of the industry and you're like, oh, you need to do fast songs. You guys are doing too many slow songs. You will not be called for India parties by corporates and all that stuff. And so we we we, we tried our hand in doing what the industry okay. says, you know. Because uh, when, when we were starting, we didn't think about the industry. Mm. We just wanted to pour ourselves musically to people. Yeah. And actually we were thinking more of families. Our thought was, we want to do music that uh, Scott can listen to, your child can listen to, mm-hmm. your mom can listen to, everyone in your family can listen to that music. Yeah. And you don't have to go and ukimbi ufinye TV when that song is playing. Or your mom, your mom needs to tell you, you, yeah, go sleep. sleep guys. <laughs> we are listening to grown-up things. You know, yeah. We are thinking about how can we put the family unit together, how can we... Um, cross religions, you know, mm-hmm. cross such borders, and also it was also an evangelistic t- tool, such that once we get into those spaces that are uncommon, we can now preach the yeah. message of Christ and yeah. draw them in. So, but we walked away from it, thought about what the industry wants. So we started experimenting uh, with the club songs first. and all mm-hmm. stuff, and that was the beginning of our decline. Wow. Yeah. So of yeah. our first decline. Like, God didn't even give us time. Like, it was just like yes. Jonah, you know, Jonah refusing to go to Nineveh. Then, then all of a sudden, go. you're thrown out of the boat. <laughs> you know, you're inside a wheel. <laughs> so I need to meet Jonah in heaven and ask him, how does the inside of a wheel smell like? How does it feel like? Is it warm? Mm-hmm. Is it cold? Mm-hmm. How does it feel like you're in the stomach and then you meet another fish that has just been swallowed? Yeah, imagine. So do you cook in there? <laughs> I don't know. Because oh he spent some time in there. Yeah, he spent some good time. <laughs> yeah. 
the, like your, your your story is just amazing. Your mm. journey is amazing, and we have young people, aspiring artists, mm. uh, who like to be musicians, and mm. like like Josh as well. Like, what would you like to tell them? How will you uh, encourage them to keep on keep keeping on? Because it's never easy, mm. and it will never be easy. Mm. You've struggled along the way mm. to make the music you've done, mm. and you still uh, on your way mm. to, uh, to your destiny. Mm. But now those people will look up to you. What yeah. will you tell them? Well. I'll tell you, light can be blinding or light can make you grow. You know, light is a very strong, it's an important agent to make plants grow. Mm -hmm. But light can also be, be very blinding, uh -huh. you know. So, but those two things depend on, on three things that are important in, a, in any young person's life or in any, if you want to go for a venture. Three things are very important. Voice, vision, and vehicle. Three Vs. If you forget everything about this industry, uh, don't know, this interview, remember those three things. The voice is what speaks to you. Ninu Kongelesha. If it is just money, mm -hmm. money is not strong enough to take you on the long haul. Mm -hmm. Money will make you try out weird things just to make sure that you, you will lose your dignity for money. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. so the voice in your life is very important. Mm -hmm. If your voice, if the voice in your life is not interested in your whole person, like in where, not just in your gift, mm -hmm. but in you as a person, uh -huh. then it will not be able to sustain you mm -hmm. for the longest time. Wow. The moment your gift is not there, it's not relevant. That's why we are having so many depressed artists, so many depressed uh, actors and all stuff, mm -hmm. because. The, the only people that speak to you or applaud you, it is just based on your talent. Your talent. So the moment a funnier person <laughs> or a better singer pops up and yeah. you are forgotten, yeah. uh, now you can't live beyond that, you know? And there should be life uh -huh. beyond your talent. We like asking uh, uh, each other as friends, what if you can't sing anymore? Uh -huh. Then what happens? What, what happens when, when you lose your voice? Uh -huh. So will you stop living? That means it's the end of you. No. no, it shouldn't be the end of you. So the voice in your life helps you go on the long run. Actually, the voice in your life is what gives you the second thing, vision. Mm -hmm. Because if, some, if someone is really interested in your whole being and puts the right material in you, puts the right framework in you, that's where now you start seeing life in a whole different aspect. Mm -hmm. You see your importance even in this life. You see that I was actually put on this earth to do this and that. You wow. gain a vision. Wow. You know, you gain a vision. And now, a vision is something that actually gives you strength to just go on and go on. You forge on. Even when you fall, you remember, uh, there's this and that that I needed to yeah. go uh, to go for. The third thing is a vehicle. And your vehicle is the community. Be very mindful of the community that you allow, allow around yourself. The friends that you allow around you, around your business, around anything that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Because your vehicle will either propel you or crash you. Uh -huh. Period. And my bishop likes saying that your friends are your competitors. Don't think that because I'm seated with you here, Scott, and I'm seeing you doing some YouTube, YouTube thing, I'm happy for you. <laughs> There's someone who's envious. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And jealous. That's and true. they can't wait for you to fall. That's true. That's Be very careful. Mm -hmm. Of the people that you're around you, yeah. that are around you. Be very discreet with your moves, you know. Don't just be telling telling everybody yeah. the things that you want to do. Yeah. Let the voice in your life, the person that speaks to you, mm -hmm. especially if you're born again or even if you're not born again, the perfect vehicle is usually the church. Yeah. Body of Christ, us, we were made by the church. Mm -hmm. We were not made by anything else. Yeah. They voted. They came to see us for meet and greet. My bishop was there holding a banner. Uh -huh. Even when we, were, when we were about to be evicted, he was there. Holding a banner. Wow. Yeah, for real. So, church in a vehicle poor sana. And you will you'll hear many musicians saying that I started in church. Yeah. But the moment they get fame, yeah. you escape church as if it was a plague. Mm -hmm. But that was a vehicle. Yeah. The, the many things, the many weird things that you're doing in your life is just because you stepped out of the vehicle, lost a vision, mm -hmm. and you lost the voice in your life. Mm -hmm. Now you've become your own voice, your own vision. <laughs> Your own vehicle, so tanza kufanya mavitu weird, weird, masarakasi. And the amount of drama, the amount of 
drama that is happening in our industry right now uh, 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 and unfortunately also the amount of depression in is because we've lost these three things yeah. you know so church is a very beautiful place to be in uh christ is the bible is is a major voice mm-hmm. and god usually gives us people who can just speak into our lives wow. we are lucky that we found we were found uh by our bishop well you did we are very lucky wow. that we found him. we found we found each other no he found us okay <laughs> yeah we are lucky yeah. that he could just speak to us to date mm-hmm. consistently wow. so that has consistently given us a vision even after uh the slump in our career it is now still going back to sit under the voice mm-hmm. that we got a vision again mm-hmm. and now we've just done our first worship experience mm-hmm. Um, we've done a patriotic album. Um, we've done. We have another love album that is somewhere just brewing. We are doing a lot of. We've done a lot of songs. A lot. Mm. It is actually easier when you are within the vision, within the voice, and within the vehicle. Of we've made money during this corona period without even the hype of the of you know the hype that we had. Yeah. We've made weird money where you're just like. <laughs> Why why did we run away from God in the first place? It doesn't even make sense. Mm-hmm. Um we have been paid to to do projects that are not even finished. Do you paid to actually finish the project oh, wow. while other people finish the project to get, get paid. paid yeah. You know. So God is working in our in our wondrous ways. I'll, I'll tell a young person. Um don't don't be too smart. Don't be too smart. Don't think you don't know yourself too much. Uh, you you are gotten from somewhere the breath that you're breathing right now is is a gift from god mm-hmm. if you give god your life mm-hmm. you're not missing it wow. you're placing yourself in the right hands give god your life give christ your life find a community and belong to it because that will be the vehicle mm-hmm. that will drive you forward once you gain a vision wow yeah find a community that you belong to and there are some things that you need to keep as a secret you don't have to tell anything to anyone you don't know the people around you if they'll cherish mm-hmm. everything you do if they'll upload everything you yeah. do you never know who's watching you never know who's praying for your downfall mm-hmm. so guys just be just be good and go run to god because that is the safest place you can yes, run yeah. to oh guys that was how well do you know me with josh we are going to meet him again in the last session uh, that's the game session we're going to be play, playing a, a nice game today See you after this guys. Welcome back guys to the U and I show. This is the amazing session. Uh we're going to play a game called spoon feeding. Spoon feeding. So uh we normally have some marbles here each person has 10 so you this is the action so you you put them the, the spoon on your mouth then you carry a marble like that then you go and put it on your, your destination pot the person who does it faster wins okay. disclaimer uh, in case i'm shaking God is still working on me. <laughs> so we are going to start. Anytime. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Okay, let's go.
Ah, you finished? Yeah. How? How comes? How many were you carrying as I go? From bad like that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was carrying five, four bubbles, three bubbles as I go, and he was supposed to be carrying one. <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> oh my god, oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention that. I forgot to mention that. Guys, guys, guess what? I've lost again to this game. Josh I had an amazing <laughs> trick, an amazing strategy. I didn't even know. Yeah. I was carrying one, one marble at, at a time. Yeah. He was carrying three at a time, four at yeah. a time. That's why he won faster. <laughs> I was like, ah, we still have like five here and he already finished. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. It was an amazing pleasure having you on the show, guys. Pleasure is on mine. Um, yeah, the, this show, it, it starts by being scary. Then it, <laughs> I think it ends as being fun. So. Mm-hmm. It's a blessing to be here. So yeah. thank you for having me. Yeah. I really appreciate it. So what will, what will you tell to the person watching right now about I'll tell show? you to subscribe to the channel, first of all. Share, uh, like, comment. Uh, doesn't much you can do for us and for this show. Um, what else? And I hope you learn something uh, and you'll be blessed. And your day will be awesome today. Today will be so dope. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, for listening, and for uh, being faithful and amazing and so supportive to us, guys. And this episode was sponsored by, by Click Creative uh, Studios by uh, my good friend Dennis and his team. We really appreciate you guys for having us here. And I want to appreciate my guys behind the camera, Eunice. Eunice Wangoi and Ivy Auta, our props manager, we, and the, the entire team, Peter and, and Olive, wherever you are, we bless you and we love you guys. And Salome for the amazing chicken feet and for <laughs> <laughs> the chicken that feet. That I didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't have. Yes. And for our guys who brought the African chili, we really appreciate because mm. they did uh, something on mm. Josh, guys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we really love you all guys thank you to click creatives guys it's an amazing studio you can come for your photo shoots you can come for you can hire the place for for your own stuff as well and you can also contact them for your birthday for your weddings for your, any te- any type of ceremony they are amazing they are amazing their wax is just top notch guys until next time you already know see you next time with a different guest but same host guys until then josh what do you say <laughs> Uh, we say tokos. This is a word we say tokos. Oh, okay. You, you should have briefed me. All right. So. <laughs> Until next time, what do we, what do we say? Tokos. Yeah, tokos, man. Sound, sound like. <laughs> bye bye, guys. We love you. Bye. If you like this show, please subscribe. And for more videos, please uh, ring on that bell over there. And then please comment share with your friends tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend what's your favorite color what was your first impression of me what should you define as cheating do you have to know all my friends which love song best describes our relationship is it fine for a partner to use the loo with the door open how would you want to spend a special day with me what was the last time i came in your dreams when was the last time you disliked me What's the craziest thing you'd be willing to do for me? What's the one thing about me you'd like to change? Let's talk about you and I.